Hi, this is Catherine Roseland with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Vincent Bonal from Sit Down, and he's here to talk about Goth Save the Queen. <laughs> so please tell me about this game. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the French game designer from Ghost of the Queen. It's a four player game. Okay. You, can, you, you will play two player team versus another team of two players. With two boxes, you can play six, seven, or eight players. Ah. And there is um, an additional rule to play two or three players, but it's real a four player for a four, game. Specifically a four player game. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. So um, our queen has been kidnapped and we have two possibilities to win. Okay. First possibility, we have to find where is our queen. She's maybe here, maybe here, or maybe here. All right. Second possibility to win is to kill the opposing army. That because they're the ones who are uh, you know, yeah. taking our queen. That's so. more, more ghost in spirit, but um, you chose what we want to do. In each team, one player will be playing the king with his castle, and, yeah, and the other one we play the war chief on his on the war field. All right. So the the both kings have these cards, and the war chief have these cards. So the boss and the war chief. Yeah. If we look at uh, the king's cards, we can look so cards on the rector, and we can watch cards on the verso. Okay. It's, um, that's really interesting because when the king will choose one of his cards, he put it on the table mm -hmm. and he gives an information, information to his teammate, but to opposing army. He wants to play the one barbarian unit or maybe the green rector unit. They have two cards with the same verso, but one of them is a brown barbarian unit, and the other is a green. Aha. So, the, the first king with the initiative token plays his cards, and the other king will play one of his cards. And after that, the two war chiefs will choose a card with an action Without will looking be at the card, ah. with his one. Um, depends on the field. I think my king uh, wants to play green rector, so I will choose a green card. And I put it on table like that. So other war chief do the same. And when all players have chosen a card, we reveal it with two possibilities. In our case, that matches. The king wants to play the green rocketer, and I choose a green action card. So, so it's a positive. Yes, uh, it matches, and it will be an, um, a consequence, an action on the war field. In that case, they are not really good, and it doesn't, it doesn't match. So, next turn, the king will put another card. This card stay on table. And for the second watch chief, he, he will play maybe this to be sure, but uh, a bit later, or maybe with this one, but uh, maybe he will not guess which card is it. Interesting. Okay. That's, uh, that's uh, the basic mechanic. So, the, um, up, uh, here. the watch chief has uh, nine actions to do. That's here. Here we have the four options of the king. He can play the blue vulture in it, the green recruiter, the red catapult, or the brown barbarian. Okay. On middle, there is um, it's the order of, of resolution action. So if we choose the fifth and they choose the first, they will play the first, and after we do, we will do our action. Ah. Okay. If we choose exactly the same action, the initiative token. Uh, made will a will it indicate who yeah. who is a starter, and that moves uh, from, uh, yeah, from team turn. to team. It, it moves. Okay. So the different action that um, the warship can play, he can play. Uh, he, he, he can use the vulture 
to watch one of these cars. Ah. Only the war chief can uh, well, look at the cart. Whereas the king won't know what no, it is. Man, in his, he is in his castle, so he can't look at the cart. Second option, with the vulture, we can use it to unload and make catapult. Each, each team has a catapult. At start, it, uh, it's empty, but maybe later it will be loaded with the war pig. So, uh -huh. <laughs> it's a really cute war pig. Very cute war pig. <laughs> An angry cute war pig. Uh, angry, yeah. So, with the second action, we will use, use your vulture to drop enemy cat munition catapult catapult munition. Okay, the second action. With the third one, the third one you can play the recruiter. That's our army. We have two life points to units and with this action we put another troop with our army. Ah, so we're adding more troops to our yeah. If we lose one, ranks. we can later have another one, but uh, with maximum a maximum of three. three. Yeah. So for action, we load catapult. The catapult is empty at start. Look, so with this one, look at how he's He's getting in. <laughs> Very cute. The war, the war pig is ready. He's ready to fire with this cart. With his axes ready to attack. Yeah, and he killed two. Ah, yes. it says minus two on the card, yeah. so that... In this case, we win. There's no army. So you have eradicated him and you have won the game. Yeah, but remember, with the second action, you can steal the munition. Now we have the barbarian action. That's really inter interesting because um, we miss one. Maybe here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so when the king chose uh, the barbarian, the warship has a lot of possibilities, um, a lot of action. He can do. Even, yeah. First one, you can build barricades. Oh, it's good. So, if the army is here, we flip the cards and we have ah. now a barricade. So it starts out with just a simple plane yeah. and then gradually you can barricade it up to protect yeah. from uh, flying pigs, I'm yes. assuming. We have to put some, um, some information here that war pig doesn't work and axis doesn't work. Alright. Okay. And, and this, on this side, Rats doesn't work. Ah. Okay, so that was the six. With the sevens, we move. We are here, we go here, we are here. We're advancing. And now we have to choose. Maybe if you look at one card before, it will be, it will be more easier. We can decide to go here and we reveal. First option, uh -huh. oh, the queen. Yes. And we win if, if, if we you find win, the queen. If we find the queen. Yeah. And you move all troops that are in that yeah. area. It's uh, our army. She, she moved. And maybe we choose here and here. Oh, so just a field with just west time. Ah. Okay? And if we choose this card. Oh, it's a trap. Uh oh. We lose one, one of our people. Of our troop, yeah. <laughs> so, two last action. The axe? axes. Yeah. So, if we have here, it's throw an axe. axes and they kill only one. Okay. Barricades protect from it. Okay. And for west protect from it. Ah, because and uh, rats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So an axe uh, in wood uh, doesn't really work. No. And last action. The rats. The rats. If um, enemies stay on barricades, you can use rats to infiltrate and, and they will get kill. through the barricade and be yeah. able to kill and one they of kill the... one unit. But only if the, the opposite army are into barricades. Great. Ah.
You know, other words. Fantastic. So how long does the game take to play? Uh, it's about 15 minutes. It can be about... Um, it's a nice, quick, easy game. Yeah. And a team game, which is interesting. Yeah. Specifically for players. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. That is Gox Save the Queen from Sit Down.